In this video, I'm going to show you rendering or bouncing to a stereo file in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I've gone through and made all the tracks sound finished and ready to be bounced or rendered to a stereo file. And as we could see, it's a pretty large project. Lots of tracks, lots of effects, but now we're ready to create a final mix. So we'll go up here to the file menu and choose render. We could also choose it with the keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's all control R, and on Mac, it's option command R. And that opens up this dialog where we could render our final mix. So let's start with the source. Here we could choose what we're going to render. It defaults to master mix, which is the type of file we need, but there's a bunch of other options as well. From printing stems from tracks, stems through our master fader, and printing individual media items through their tracks and out the master. I've already made a bunch of other rendering videos on the Reaper website that go through these other options. So check those out. But we're going to stick with the master mix for this. Then we could choose the bounds, the section of the project we're going to render. Usually we choose the entire project, but we could also choose a custom time range and then type it in over here or a time selection and just create one over here or based on our regions up here or just selected regions. We're going to keep it simple and render the entire project. Then we go down over here to a directory, which is where we're going to save a rendered file to. We could browse our hard drive. I created a folder called Final Mixes. So we could put our rendered files in here. And it changes the directory over here. Then we can name our file. I'll call it Song 1 Final Mix. Then we can go down here to the options, where we could choose the sample rate of a final file how many channels, stereo, mono, multi-channel, and we can choose the speed of the render, full speed offline. So we're not going to hear it and it's going to render based on the speed of our computer and how big our project is. We could do real time offline or real time online, where we could hear the mix while it's being rendered. Let's choose full speed offline. Then we can go down over here to the output format and choose the file type. WAV files, AAF, MP3. If it's a video, we could choose MP4 or these others, but we're going to choose a WAV file. We could change the bit depth, 24 bit, 16 bit. Then we can go down over here and choose this option which is going to silently increment the file names to avoid overwriting. In other words, if we bounce many, many times, it's going to save all of them and change the names automatically. We could save a copy of the project based on the render and also add the rendered file back to our project on new tracks. So when we're ready to render it, we just hit this button and it's going to render one file. But before we do that, there's a great feature in Reaper that really sets it apart from other DAWs, and that's the render queue. So let's say we don't have time to render it now. We could just add it to the render queue, and we could render it later. Or maybe we want to readjust our tracks to try a different mix, and when we're done with it, open it back up and add that to the render. Maybe rename it or use the feature right here and then render that one and change the project a bit more and just add that one to the render queue. 
And then if we're ready to bounce them all down, just open up the render queue and we can see all the renders that we saved ready to go. We could choose them individually or just render them all. We could remove them. Let's remove the second one right here and just render the other two right here. And it starts to render it as fast as a computer can. And then when it's done with the first one, it's going to render the second one. So it's a great time saver as we could render all our mixes at a later point during a coffee break or between sessions. And when they're done, we can go back to our hard drive and here are those rendered files. Here's the first one and here's the second one. Now it's also very helpful if we want to render different types of files. For example, let's say we're happy with the project. We want to render it as a WAV file. Just add it to the render queue. Let's say we also need an MP3. Add that one. Maybe a video, an MP4. We could render that one as well. Then open the render queue. We could see our renders ready to go. And now with one click, we could render the same mix, but with three different file types right here. And it's going to render one file after another. So that's pretty much it. That's rendering or bouncing to a stereo file in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!